Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought I would do a quick holiday look. So, I don't know if it's going to be glam, but it's glam for me. Uh, it's just basically going to be a simple eye look and a bold lip, which is one of my favorite looks, especially for the holidays. Um, I just think it looks really like classic. And well, I guess you already saw what it looks like in the thumbnail. But let's get started. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm going in with my hydrating primer. So in the holiday season, usually like it's also winter. I mean, depending where you live. <laughs> so for me, because I have dry skin, I need to use something hydrating um, or else my makeup's going to look cakey and not. So I'm going to use my First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer that I use in like all my videos. So once I have my primer on, I'm just going to do some spot concealing. So wherever my blemishes are. And around my nose where it gets very red especially like in the creases here so I actually already filmed this video <laughs> but I was in a mood and I didn't like how it turned out so I'm redoing it once I do my spot concealing I'm gonna go in with my foundation so like I used something hydrating for my primer I also want to use a hydrating foundation my two favorites for this time of year are well this is like one of my favorites all year round it's the physicians formula organic wear bb cream and then for foundation i really like my makeup forever water blend i can't really wear this in the summer because it's um like a shade too light for my regular skin tone so in the summer it's like way too light because I do get more like freckles when I go out in the sun and more of a tan so it just looks like kind of ghostly on me but in the winter it's very good so I'm gonna use this one today since this is like a holiday look um, usually when I'm going out I do like to put some kind of foundation on And I do like to use a sponge with this foundation, but you can also use a brush if you want higher coverage. I think both work really well. And it just feels really nice on the skin. It's like kind of refreshing. And then once it's on, like you don't feel like you have something super heavy on your face. But I think you can tell like it's not covering my freckles or like uh, this blemish here that I just love um, you could still see some redness but I mean that's okay for me but if your preference is more full coverage you could obviously do that instead so I'm just gonna highlight with some concealer um, under my eyes here down the nose. I've decided I don't like putting a lot of product on my forehead because it can look very dry. I think I will just put a touch of powder to set my concealer because both um, base products I used are quite like thin watery formulas so I just put a bit of powder on my sponge and like I've showed you guys this many times before I'm not doing anything new in this video but I thought since it's such a simple look I might as well do like the full face on camera so I just leave the powder um, like that and I do need to put lip balm on and then I just wipe that away Sometimes I leave it on 
while I do my um, eye makeup especially if I'm doing like a bold color but today as I will soon show you we're just going to use bronzer for our eyeshadow which is a really good way to save time and still have a little like definition on the eyes without doing anything crazy so I'm using my Marc Jacobs Tantastic, yes, Tantastic bronzer. It's just a matte bronzer. It looks like this. It's supposed to smell like coconut, but I think mine is like kind of old <laughs> because I don't really smell anything. It's not like the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, which is like very strongly coconut scented. And actually, I'm just going to bronze my face first, so I'm going to use my new favorite bronzer brush. This is the Eco Tools Full Powder Brush. I hauled it in a video, and I really like it. It's very soft and nice, so just get some on there. And this bronzer is really good for this time of year for my skin tone because it's more like a natural look. I find in the winter, if you go like super bronzy, it can kind of look a bit funny because obviously you didn't get bronzed from the sun. So it can look quite makeup-y. So then I'm gonna take a fluffy brush, like this one, that focuses. This is a uh, Royal and Langnickel Moda brush. I don't have like the number, but um, it came in a set that I got in my boxy Lux. And with this, I just like gonna go super messily in the crease and kind of like blend it out in circular motions on the outer corner. This obviously doesn't have to be super precise because first of all it's just to do like a light wash of shade in the crease to give a bit of definition um so even if it's like messily put down you can't really tell as long as you don't have like a harsh edge but usually bronzer is not as pigmented as eyeshadow anyway so that shouldn't happen and I'm kind of just putting it all over the lid, really. But since my eyes are like half hooded, I want to make sure that I get some shadow above the crease here so that when my eyes are open, you can still see the shade. And that's literally all we're doing for eyeshadow. Well, we are going to put some on the... Um, What's that called? On the lower lash line though, just to add some more definition and to tie it together. So for that, I'm gonna use this smaller pencil brush that's not focusing here. Can you see? Yeah. This is a MAC 219 brush. I actually don't love this brush. I've mentioned it before. It's kind of stiff. Um, so it's better for like detail work. It's kind of pokey on the lower lash line, but I need to wash my brushes. So yeah, that's what I have. And um, just to get it like where you want it, you can squint and just see like where your eye bag is. <laughs> and then just swipe along there. So I'm going to finish the rest of my face before I finish the eyes. So for blush, I pulled out my MAC... Whoa, the camera is shaking. I pulled out my MAC Warm Soul. I like this one for a holiday look because it has a bit of shimmer in it. And since we went more matte on the bronzer, I think it's fun to add a little shimmer to the cheeks. If I can open this. <laughs> That's what it looks like in case you've never seen it. But this is like an OG favorite on YouTube. It's kind of like a peachy bronze blush. 
and it's very subtle I find but you can build it up so I like to just use this blush brush that I always use um, but you see how it's like kind of slanted I kind of have started to put the blush more like against my the bridge of my nose and then I swipe it out um, and I think it's because <laughs> I've been watching a lot of um, Julia Adams. I'll link her channel below. I just love how she does her makeup. And she always puts blush like all across here and even like on her chin. Which is like a really cute look. And especially for winter kind of makes you look like you're out in the cold <laughs> and then I just kind of blend it upwards towards my temple on the edge here but you see how that's not like a super pink blush it's more I don't know it's more like a glow an inner glow if you will and then for highlight I took my physician's formula warm nude I forget what these are called, like the shimmer, shimmer brick, maybe? It doesn't say like anywhere on here, so, but anyway, I always leave the product description below. Uh, not the description, the title, like the full name of it since they're so long. But what I do with this is when I use it for highlight, it's meant to be used like for your whole face, but I only really ever use these two rows here for highlighter and I've been using this with this brush here this is um, a Sephora Pro Fan Detail brush number 62 I really like first of all I like fan brushes for highlighter but this one is more dense if you can see so it places the the highlighter like exactly where I want it which is like right on the top of my cheekbone here so where you feel your bone is where I put the highlighter on so I'm just gonna swirl around in those two um, rows see I love this highlighter this is one of my favorite products from Physicians Formula. I just feel like, like obviously you can still see it, but it's also natural. And it, it doesn't look like super intense or like textury on the face, which I like. Cause I tend to have a lot of texture um, right here, which is where I put my highlighter. So that's no, Fun. So I place the highlighter more like with the brush on an angle and then to blend it I kind of like sweep it up like this and you can't really go overboard with this highlighter I feel I also like to put it down the bridge of my nose as you know if you've seen my other videos And that's it for highlighter I'm gonna finish the eyes now which is really just putting mascara on <laughs> actually I'm gonna use my um, my Kush mascara only because when I'm filming this it's actually nighttime and I'm gonna have a shower <laughs> after this um, but if I was going out to like a party or something I would definitely use this one instead this is my it cosmetics superhero mascara this one um, just lasts way longer. This one, if you wear it too long, it will start to flake and smudge. Um, so, yeah. But because this one's a bit harder to take off, I'm just going to use this for now. And I just want to do like a light coating of this. Because the focus is going to be on the lips not the eyes so much. I actually do like this mascara. Like, see how long and like fluffy and makes your lashes, but it just smudges everywhere and I don't know why it does that. Well, it could partly be because it's getting old. 
but I mean the formula is still wet when you put it on and we are gonna do a little something special in the inner corner so I took out my uh, Charlotte Tilbury color chame bleh, color chameleon pencil this is in the shade won't focus in the shade champagne diamonds it looks like this and we're just gonna put this on the inner corner so normally where I would put I'm filming the video so I'm putting this where I would normally put a either a highlighter or like a shimmery shade from an eyeshadow palette and I'm just gonna go in straight with the pencil at first Like so, and it looks kind of crazy right now. But then I'm going to take a detail brush. So something like this, like a short, stiffer brush. This is by the Vintage Cosmetic Company. I got it in a boxy charm. And I just want to like kind of uh, diffuse that eye pencil which is pretty easy because it's like a creamier formula and I'm just bringing it down more on the lower lash line so you see how that just adds a little something but really all we did was put bronzer and one pencil on the eyes so I'm gonna do my brows off camera because that's boring and no one cares <laughs> And then I'll be back to finish with the lips. Okay, so I have my brows on for the lips now. I really like wearing a red lip, especially in the holiday season. But I do need to put a lip liner on first and I need to sharpen this. <laughs> this is the um, Aveda lip liner in the shade Fire Maple. I don't know if this still exists. I've had this forever, but I really like this uh, color. And for me, I have to be kind of precise with my lip liner because my lips are not even. So when I wear a bold lip, I have to kind of overdraw on one side or else it's really obvious that it's crooked. So yeah, that's what I will do and stop talking. So that's just with the lip liner, which honestly looks pretty good by itself. But the shade I'm wearing is a bit more like a rosier red. It's actually a mini guy. It's the Bite Beauty Liquefied, uh, what are these called again? Amuse Bouche Liquefied, Liquefied Lip. So it's really, it's like a lipstick, but liquefied. Like it's not a liquid lipstick because it doesn't dry down and it's not matte. You'll see when I put it on. See how it's like a more berry toned red? Then you gotta make sure there's no lipstick on your teeth <laughs> and that is pretty much it this is my super simple holiday look you could wear it to a holiday party maybe with like a wing liner if you're more courageous than me or just to like a family dinner i think it's super simple but still gives like a very classic glamorous vibe so I'm just going to put some setting spray on and I'm using this Project Beauty Spray Set Go makeup setting spray that I got in a BoxyCharm because I ran out of my MAC Fix Plus. But this <laughs> spray is so wet, it will like drench your whole face so I have to hold it very far away from me. So yeah, that's the final look. Maybe I can fix my hair a bit. I mean, not really. It's pretty frizzy today. So there we go. Yes.
<laughs> I hope you guys like this video. If you want to see some other like quick go-to makeup looks, I can do that because normally I don't even wear foundation. Um, I usually just use concealer, so it's even quicker than this. But yeah, if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!